Okay, my name is Mahendra Fresta and I am the program director of Tiger Conservation Partnership at Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute. And our program uh, basically is focused on the capacity building of protected area management team, uh, uh, mainly the frontline people to gear them up with the latest technology and skills so that they could be much more efficient in conservation of not only tigers, but uh, very many other species. So can you talk a little bit about the role of the National Zoo and the Smithsonian Conservation Program? Well, the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute and the National Zoo oh, have yeah, been yeah, engaged yeah. in this kind of conservation works in many parts of the world, yeah, and yeah, particularly the in, the, in Asia, in you know, where tiger range countries are. They have been working there since 1970s. And the first tiger behavioral study that they conducted was in Nepal in 1978, you know, which uh, really provided all the ecological and behavioral information on tigers. And you know, that is, is still very, very valuable to many uh, conservationists. Do you have a message for the audience about the importance of conservation? Well, uh, this conservation is uh, very, you know, valuable in terms of our human health because it maintains the ecosystem integrity that's very much uh, essential for our livelihood. And, you know, particularly coming back to the tiger, you know, why only tigers, you know, because uh, many people ask about that, you know, tiger is an umbrella species and if you save tigers, you can also save a large chunk of habitat. That means you'll be saving so many other different varieties of species sharing the same habitat. But unfortunately, you know, with the current development and also the, you know, uh, the, uh, the demand on tiger parts and products, their number has drastically declined. You know, compared to a century ago, uh, when uh, tiger population was estimated somewhere around 100,000, uh, uh, and now it is about 3,200 3, 3, only. So until and unless the general public value the live tiger, you know, it's very difficult to save tigers by a few conservationists and also the forest guard. They need the public support, you know, to save them. And, you know, and also the public, they need to see the value, they need to be understand, you know, why they need to value. And, and also from our conservationist point of view, we need to show and demonstrate why tigers, the live tigers are much more valuable than the dead ones.